So right now we are at our largest condo association doing our mowing today. We potentially have some rain come in a little bit later. Uh, I was able to get a good about two hours of mowing extra. I was able to finish one of my other condos uh, yesterday a lot faster. So I was able to get over here since it was really sunny and nice and dry and get as much mowing done as possible. Uh, I've been using the Hustler X1 quite a bit recently for a couple reasons. Number one, it has the mulch, I have a mulching deck on it. And since we just fertilized, I want to be able to mulch. Not only does it save time, I know it's good for the grass. A lot of guys, I get tons of comments asking me, why do you bag? It's, you know, it's so bad and blah, blah, blah. It's not good for the grass. Anyways, I, I know that crap, guys. I've been around for a while that I know that. But Condo Association, the one that I live in, they do not like, they do not like to see the clumps. And of course, once we fertilize like what we did recently, uh, it leaves really bad clumps. This is just, that's, that's nothing right there. I, I have to show you the back section that I started on the, uh, this morning because it was thick and you know, wet. Um, that's what they don't like. So what we try to do is we try to mulch the back sections and then bag the front that way because basically their biggest complaint is it looks like crap. Their second one is that their dogs track it in. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do it. You can uh, double cut everything, which takes twice as much time. And for a condo that takes almost all. Hey, how you doing? So two ways that you can actually get rid of the clumps is to one, double cut it. And for a condo association that takes literally all day to maintain, uh, I don't have time for that. The second option is for wait, wait for it to dry out during the day and then take a blower over it. Uh, I would tend to do that. The biggest problem is just, it comes down to time. So the problem with uh, warm season or cold season grasses like what we have here is that in this springtime, we had this huge spike where the grass grows way too fast. So when you have the growing season at its peak, then you throw fertilizer in there, the grass is growing to a point where uh, mulching, it just leaves such a, just such a mess. And so as you guys can see this section, which is my favorite section to mow, this looks really good. And it's because we mowed it and mulched it when it was warm and dry. And we also kind of double cut it, cut it, I don't think that's a word. We also double cut it, so it looks really good. Um, but it's just, we have rain coming today. It's gonna take a long time to do double cut everything. So with all the back sections and big sections already mulched, I'm gonna be bagging all the fronts. So let me go and turn my camera around and let me show you guys what we got going on so far. So I went and picked up, went and got Big Red. I was using the Chevy and I went and, oh great. I went and picked up the dump trailer cause we're gonna do what we did last year which was we're gonna make a ramp up to the back and then that way we can just dump the grass clippings in it with the walker. Makes it so much easier than trying to scoop it up into the bed. I did take the walls off the dump trailer for another reason. I, I, will, I will do that later, I'm not gonna talk about that. Anyways, it looks a little different. And so this was also a second reason why I don't typically like to mulch only in the dry time. Uh, but as you guys can see, it not only makes a mess on the mower, but it can also make a mess on the sidewalks, especially this one's not too bad just because it wasn't as wet as other times. And plus I went extremely slow, but it tends to stain the concrete. You guys can see the little trail that comes off. This is nothing compared to what we've dealt with in the past, but it's just one of those other big inconveniences, especially when you're jumping from one section to another and you have a long ways to go to get to the sidewalks. Uh, you could jump the curbs. I don't typically like to do that because sometimes they'll get caught on the mower, but it just makes a big mess. And that's another big reason why I don't like to typically mulch because uh, we get a lot of complaints, especially why is there a cat over there? Um, especially it's, you know, it stains the concrete, but I do know that mulching is really good for the grass. And that's why I'm actually looking at selling um, this, sorry, I'm talking too much. That's the reason why I'm selling. I'm gonna sell this T25i and buy one of those B Walker mulching decks, uh, the mulching mowers. And so I'm actually gonna be selling this one. This is the one I bought last year. It's about to hit a thousand hours. It's at like 990 something. So it's time to get rid of this guy. I'm gonna buy a mulching deck instead. That way I will have one T25i for bagging and another one for mulching. But anyways guys, so this is the grass, like I said, this is what we got going on today. This whole middle section is completely done. So all we literally have is all the front yards to do. And um, so we got a lot to do and that's it. So let's go ahead and get mowing guys.
so I wanted to take a quick break and show you the reason why we're bagging the front rather than mulching the front. Uh, so let me turn the camera around. Okay, so as you can see, this is two different cuts. This is the one with the walker, this is the one with the hustler. Now, granted, I did do the hustler a little bit this morning. This is going almost the exact same speed. Um, as you guys can see, the hustler, or I'm sorry, the walker has a really clean cut, no leftover grass. As you guys can see here, which might be a little bit hard, but you can see there's a couple miss spots. We got a couple uh, pieces of clumps and it doesn't look like it's completely cut. Now, granted, like I said, I could double cut this and it would probably look okay, but now we're just adding more and more time onto it. And it's just, this whole section back here, this is what I did with the Hustler. And this is what I was saying, this is what they don't like, is that it leaves this leftover little residue. And like I said, this is going actually fairly slow. This is going the same speed as the walker. So it's not like I'm going like full born 11 miles per hour, the max speed it can. This is with taking it slow, uh, overlapping in a lot of it, the areas, and it just doesn't look the greatest. And I already know this is the reason why they actually fired the last previous uh, property maintenance company because they mulched everything and they didn't like this because then their dogs track it in. So this is the reason why we're bagging all the fronts. I want to show you guys a little visual um, comparison of the two and the reason why we're doing that. Uh, like I said, I will say that the grass is a little bit drier than I, it was this morning. And well, I can't show you that section because I just went over it. Uh, but this is really the biggest reason why is that it leaves these little clumps. So what we do is, like I say, we mulch all the backyards, all the back sections are all mulched and then we'll bag the front. So anyways, with that, let's get back to mowing.
All right guys, so we are all done today. So I got the entire condo done. I'm so glad I came yesterday and did this whole entire middle section uh, just because I it's about a little past six o'clock right now, uh, 6.15 right now. So having to do that would have added another hour and a half, almost two hours of mowing. And I'm so glad I didn't do that. So anyways guys, that's the video. Sorry for taking so long to get a video uploaded, but luckily I was able to get this one done. Tomorrow I'll be back. Uh, the shrub right behind me, if I can't see it. Anyways, we're gonna be coming back tomorrow. We gotta mow that condo, uh, as well as bring the tractor. We're gonna pull out a few shrubs over there. And some of them, since we're pulling them all the way out, it's gonna be so much easier with the tractor. So anyways, guys, that's it. I will see you guys next time in the riding shotgun. Next riding shotgun. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.